was life like for you after prison, leaving, starting over? Well, you know, I had a lot of and, psychology. And, and look, look. How, a, how long ago was that, by the way? Uh, this was a, I was in. Two, I had you, my last federal prison. I was in. I had got out, and I was in Tucson, Arizona, and I was in a halfway house in Tucson, Arizona. And when I had first got out, it was it it was like an overload to my senses. Like it, it just looked like it was an overload. Like I'm taking I'm I'm appreciating everything, looking at different type of shoes that they don't see on commissary. Looking at people outfits like I'll be fucked up off of your outfits you got on now. <laughs> you got the Ernie special on there. You know what I'm saying? So, so you originally were arrested in was it in uh, Madison or Chicago? Uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Sorry. So, do they transfer you back to where you originally got arrested? Nah, or hell they, no, you don't get unless you go. You let look. This is what they do. So you get arrested and do you get arrested? Let's say I, I'm gonna give you an example. As me, okay, I get arrested in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Bang, I stay in Milwaukee and go to court. I stay in Milwaukee County Jail. Fight my I got a U.S. Marshal hold, but I'm in a jail with a whole bunch of people that committed state offenses, but they right. didn't commit federal offenses because you know the feds pay them money to house U.S. Marshal holds. So I'll be in a county jail. Okay. And you transfer once you're in federal prison, you get transferred to different and states. And this is what happened. Yeah, Twelve they, years later, you end up in Tucson, Arizona. That's where you get released from. They just say you're free to. Nah, you, you're, you, you're they out you of signed here. paperwork, and what happened was they asked you, "Where do you want the Greyhound bus to drop your ass off at?" Really? Yeah, and okay. I'll be like, "Look, since this is my last federal penitentiary yard, and I'm already in Arizona, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh get off here and go to a halfway house in Arizona." And and so I get my social security because you know I get social security from the government. I get uh, the government take care of me. I'm a fed baby, you know what I mean? You no, know, I'm a real fed baby because I was in I was a baby in the United States federal penitentiary. So the federal government take care of my ass. That's how I get money. So when I was in a halfway house in Arizona, and since I used to see psychiatrists and sociologists and all that shit. And, and psychologists. Does every inmate do that? Nah, I was doing it because I had mental issues being in that bitch. That yeah. shit made me go crazy. That's why I was hitting motherfuckers in they shit. You know what I'm saying? Working out every day is just it's stressful. So once a week, I see a psychologist, and after a while, I had over like 900 pages of psych history. So when I got out, I had them give me all my psych history paperwork, and I took that in the Social Security office. And that's how it improved me to get Social Security because I went Social Security off all my psych paperwork and now I'm on Social Security disability. Okay. So how long have you been out now? Shit, I've been out for about, uh, I don't even know, but I say between three years, three okay. and four years, about three years. So what's life been like getting back on your feet? Starting over. Man, look, it's been very stressful, man. It's, it, people be prejudiced against me, and it be all races, black, white, Mexican, Asian. It's just, I get out, and it's like I went into a hole. People won't hire me for jobs. Like, I'm homeless right now on the streets in Miami. I mean, my social really? security. You're homeless yeah, right yeah. now. I mean, this is my social security money, this belt. This bitch costs 600 I, I just like looking good because if I know you want me to be down – and I know you want me to be homeless and you want me to be miserable. I'm going to make sure I shine every day while I'm homeless because y'all hate on me. And that's just how I be. You don't look homeless. You you look like you got your shit together. So, I mean, what where do you, like, do you sleep in hotels? I sleep in stairwells Stair right now. I really? sleep in stairwells. Like, I use hotel lobby bathroom. I hop in hotels, uh, 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 pools, jacuzzi. I use all these hotel bathrooms. They let me in their bathrooms. They they see me. I've been down here for like a year in Miami, and they all know me. They know I'm homeless, but the tourists don't because there's tourists down here every day, and they think I'm that man, but they don't know I'm homeless.